What's going on YouTubers, gamers and hobbyists? Welcome to this episode of On The Bench with Pete, the series you put on in the background as you hobby or paint along with me. Now, I'm pretty excited because I'm doing Flames of War infantry in this episode. So, uh, grab your things, your brushes, paints, models, etc. Tea, coffee, whatever you need. And join me on the bench. Let's get to it. Okay, we are on the bench. Now, what is all this going on here? What, what What's this all about? Well, <laughs> you see some of these uh, bases I've got from um, Battlefront Miniatures. They're in the, in the box set. I've put numbers on them because they're corresponding to the infantry or the models that were on them when I... Like was cutting them out, sizing them up, and whatever else. Um, but I'm, I'm going to be painting these now. These are American, and because it's my Flames of War American army, I'm going to paint them how I want to. So if I want to paint them red, I'll paint them red. I'm not going to paint them red. I'm going to paint them Battle Dress Green by P3 because it's a pretty close match to what I think American soldiers. Well, my, my ideal image of what they should be dressed in. But I've got that. That's for the uniforms. And I've got this medium flesh tone as well. And I'm deciding 15 mil. Do I need to... Do I need to do inside out in 15 millimeter? Like go from the flesh out. I'm... I'm not sure, to be honest, I'll just wipe my glasses off a minute. So, so this is my new project. I mean, I think I will. I think I'll go with the flesh first. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. You know, if I blow it, well, I'm going to blow it. <laughs> Got a army painter character brush here, which uh, I'm gonna use. I'm just giving this. Um, I'm using Vallejo uh, model color fle medium flesh tone. That's what I'm using for these guys. My now my thinking of this is the 15 millimeter, right? So technically I suppose you could do them as detailed as you could a 28 millimeter figure I'm not going to though probably reason being um I don't think 15 mil would be entering any awards for like best painted Right. Now. I'm going to try. This is, this is number one. These are all the figures that would be going on in space. So my plan is to paint them all first. And then to base them. Now, as far as I'm concerned, for things like flesh, I think base color, wash, one highlight at the most. So I'm not going to go several highlights in like I would with 28mm. So no, I'm not bothering with eyes. Come on, 15mm, come on now. So this is what I'm doing. Well, I've, what I'm having to learn is... You know, how many figures make up, you know. 
or like a, a, a group of figures on a base, like this is called a team, that's fair enough, that's easy enough, but you know, things like platoons and formations and detachments, if you're allowed to take a, a detachment of like paratroopers, whatever, I don't know how many I can have for that. I know the card it uses. Yeah, I know that. But I don't know how many figures correspond to it. I know how many figures correspond to it in this box set I've got here. Which is a which is called Hit the Beach. I I got it alongside the Fury starter set. Still cheaper than a box of tactical space marines. To get complete star sets, just crazy nuts. And yeah, I'm I'm cool with that. I'm good with that. So I'm putting the flesh tone, medium flesh tones, five. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to do battle dress green for their uniform. Uh, Looking at pictures in the rule book and so on, they were more of a khaki colour, but it doesn't look like what Americans should look like to me, to my mind. And I want them to be distinguishable. To, to me, I don't know, I, I would have... I'd have English more in khaki, but then I'd probably do the English more as the desert rats type stuff. For like you know the Egyptian fighting and I, I probably do more like the desert warfare for my British, just because you know at the scenarios. There's a, there's an El Alamein um, starter set box set that you can get. You know if you want to get into. That. I'm a long way off of. Um, Expanding armies, so I'm happy with Americans and Germans for now. I'm so happy with that. I think the Americans have got good, quite good tanks. They look good. The Shermans, I quite like the look of the Shermans, even though they're not as um, they're not as powerful as the German tanks by any means. But you know, they look good. Right. Now is am I am I gonna find is painting fifteen millimeter quicker? Will it be? I don't know. I didn't find the building any quicker because in a lot of cases there were as many parts that I remember for their um twenty eight mil vehicles. So, and you'll notice that I have, I, I've, I've undercoated them in white, it's true. I think originally my plan was, could I do contrast paint on them? But I, I don't want to because whilst contrast is good, you can, you can get some good effects. The sort of skill level I've got it, it looks kind of messy <laughs> most of the time. And I don't know how that would translate to 15mm, so I'm not risking it, basically. Putting them on like sticks like this to, to paint. I saw that in one of the books. Might have been the rule book actually. On all the um Colours of War book. So they're on version four of this game at the moment, which uses unit cards. Which is where I I end up getting my confusion, you know. <laughs> How many models for the card? The 
card to cover a multitude of models for the most part, but um, yeah, me trying to work out which and how many. That's okay. I'll get there. With, with historical wargaming, there's a lot more um, reading involved and more research. And that's okay as well. I'm not going to do the back of his neck because I don't. Well, I don't know. I could do, I suppose. Yeah. Well, 10 minutes in. We got um, flesh tone down on eight infantry. This mortar team's quite good. He's got his uh, hands to his ears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to push my um, camera back a bit. I just filmed a topical Tuesday, actually. Um, because it's Tuesday, yeah. That makes sense, right? <laughs> uh, no. Um, without the green screen, I think is what I was trying to say. Just felt more comfortable. These, I don't know, these last couple of days, I haven't felt like uh, filming anything. over I'm really giving them a wash anyway the actual the mortar launchers there as third figure so no flesh to do on that one might paint that with uh, contrast Try my Militarum green, see how that goes. A bit curious that was. Oh, that, that's the colour I was thinking of using on these guys, see. It is. Wow. I used to have some toy soldiers as a kid, like this sort of size, but they weren't as detailed as this. We're talking like you know, the 1970s. Um, I think you got them, you collected them with cereals or something. I can't remember now. It was actually my cousin's um, soldier collection that he gave to me when he was older. Because, uh, you know, I was just a kid. I used to go over and stay with my auntie and uncle sometimes. Yeah. 
yeah, so you can see gaping is the Toy Soldiers that he collected, which was pretty cool. Toy Soldiers are always good when you're a kid. <laughs> When I was very young, I had a friend who had, I forget what the make was now, they were toy soldiers on metal bases, like coloured plastics, you know, like pre-painted or whatever, and they were really pretty good. Very good, actually, you know. did another base would be five oh. so what I'm gonna do another four figures here pop them on to the stick So, let me know if you're working on anything. Always good to hear. Let me know as well, you know, if you haven't watched um, Topical Tuesdays before, let me know what you think of the topic on this one because I find it pretty fascinating and I'm keen to learn about, you know, more of you out there. See, that one obviously go up before this one does because um, um, these are filmed several weeks in advance, so that's okay. So I guess me saying let me know about the Topical Tuesday is a bit irrelevant. <laughs> Just thought of that one. Duh. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm priming these in white because um, I just, I want them to be nice and bright. So, this is going to be Oops. So just uh, priming these dudes. I could have spray primed them, I know. Didn't want to. I've got a, a gaming mat. I think it's actually from a Tanks game. A game called Tanks. It's about three by three, three foot by three foot. I, I've got it on one of my green beige uh, boards which is uh, three by four so I could use the grass like or the grass color at the ends as an extension of that. it's kind of a desert color or muddy themed mat though so But it'd be ideal for learning this game. Oh, I'm far from you know knowing the rules. I know the basics, particularly the um, how the tanks side of it work. Because of the Fury starter set, you you don't get the infantry in it, and it just teaches you the basics of tank moving and fighting and. 
the rule, you know, the rules for that. But um, impressive with how quick you can paint these things. I can hear my neighbour scraping her uh, patio. They are absolutely nuts. But they were forever doing it because they they were happy with the grout in between the tiles, or the the sorry the paving slabs. So they had it redone, lifted up, relayed, and they're still not happy with it. They're still scraping it and stuff. I don't, I don't know what they do. I don't know. <laughs> now I do know because it's 15 mil, I mean you have so many, you have more of the guys attached to your base, whereas the likes of Bolt Action, Warhammer, each figure, you know, each figure represents one man, which it does in this game, but the team basically lives or dies as a team. So if one down, all, you know, all down, the, the team go down, which is kind of how the stats work on it from what I can see. Like I say, I'll, um, I'll look into all that. bubbles that you get with the lighter primers very irritating don't seem to get them with a lot of the darker ones which is nice okay let that primer dry so that was five now I've got a base with just two guys on so we'll do that, the bazooka, bazooka team, bazooka, right, now, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a getting a game of this underway. Now that was the last one was five, so this is going to be six. Right, away we go. We'll get some paint on these um, by the end of this session. So yeah, I think I'll start with the bazooka, not the bazooka, the, the mortar gun. And see if I can get some Militarum green on that. So I was gonna, I was thinking of trying that on these little guys, but uh, yeah, too messy, I think. As it stands, I'm gonna be um, putting a wash on them after the 
base coat. Which could make it messy. Yeah, I want the colours to be quite vibrant on the, on these. I've been on a, um, <clears throat> I've been trying to cut out all potato in my diet lately, which is going quite well, I think, which includes crisps, unfortunately. I've been doing that for a while now, doing that for a few weeks. Um, am I craving crisps? Yeah, hell yeah. But am I doing it? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. I am doing it. Oh. I've really, I've got to work out. Just trying to work out what base to have the, these guys lying down. On it's these guys. I think like that. Sorry, not the microphone there. I'm a bit, hmm. One, two, three, and one, two. That is so odd, that's so weird. Um, I've got to check something in a minute. In the starter set. American they go on the base of two others uh -huh, yeah so they go on a base with two others Yeah, so they can go together, I think. Methinks they can go together. Right, if I pop that up there. Sorry, I'm, I was just consulting my... Um, sort of instructions from the starter set. It's basic instructions. Basic assembly is what it is. So this is going to be like 
assembly number seven. So These were difficult to glue these machine gun the guys lying down like this because uh, this guy the one I'm priming right now you gotta put both his arms on with the the gun resting on top of the tripod that's so finicky <laughs> precision tweezers were required I don't know what time I was going to say. I don't know what time I'm stopping for lunch today, but um, I started a little bit later in the day, so might not be able to. My wife has developed a keen interest in Egypt and um, I don't know Egyptology. Is that the right term? Ancient Egypt stuff, all stuff about ancient Egypt and um, the, the the tombs and the, the pyramids and all this stuff finds it fascinating. And I'm I'm enjoying uh, seeing her learn about it and hearing her learn about it. Um, so I've ordered um, a DVD set that like a his, historical documentary thing. It was only three pound off of eBay. Um, all about the pyramids and the ancient Egypt, and I think, I think we'll both enjoy that. I, I, I enjoy all that sort of stuff anyway. And uh, yeah, she'll she'll enjoy that for sure. She's that into it. She wants to write an essay about it. You know, just for her own personal pleasure, which is amazing. You know, it's brilliant. Yeah, my tummy's rumbling a bit. Feeling a bit hungry, I've got to say. Well, more than a bit hungry. I think I might get a pot noodle after this. Yeah, I think so. Right, how far are we? Oh, halfway through. I've only got flesh on some of them, flesh tones on some of them. So we'll have to... Sort that out, but at least get some colour on rather than just popping these onto sticks and priming. Something a bit more, um, a bit more, um, a bit more worthy of. Uh, stuff I'm getting done there's a load more Germans than there are Americans in in the set but then the Americans have more tanks right I suppose I I should um I should rewatch all the old war movies I used to watch with my father when um, I was younger. That would be kind of cool. All right, let's pop a bit of water in the flesh tone there. We can go back to 
What do we do up to? Four. Five is probably dry enough to receive skin flesh tone colour now, yeah. Yes he is. And if he wasn't then I'd go on to the uniforms. There's um there's even like um different time periods you got the uh, in this for second world war you've got the uh, mid war and late war it's obviously equipment tanks guns whatever was different um there's even a vietnam um supplement with models and rules for fighting in Vietnam. Of course you've got Team Yankee which is more modern. I just wanted to get these figures done because yeah I've got other stuff to do but I'm really keen on them. Um, you know, trying out this um, scale. If I can do these half decent, I'll say yeah, fifteen mil, cool. I think only it's just scary because you know not having done it before. But at this, um, and if I if I feel I can paint fifteen millimeter. Or 100 scale models with any sort of half decent results then I'm thinking that will open up the way for other games systems um, rule sets I'll be able to just get figures I like and then eventually be able to play them in rule sets that I find accordingly like eventually I want to get into ancients, like you know, Romans and Greeks and goodness knows what else, you know. <laughs> yes, and for dioramas too. Um, well, Second World War is pretty phenomenal. They make it awesome dioramas, uh, you know, like tanks and that just make for an amazing diorama. Is that dry enough yet? No. They do, it's true, you know. I saw um, a diorama that Mini Walmart done on uh, with a tank, uh, pretty awesome. Tank tracks broke, so that became part of the diorama story. And that's just amazing. Works really well. Really good idea. All right, so all right. Well, I think we might be going back to back to here again. Right. Sorry if I keep knocking the microphone and it's clipped onto my shirt. And um, I just forget that it's there sometimes. Right, so Battle Dress Green. Now, this is very similar in colour to violet, Brown Violet, which is the colour I do the American tanks in. But, um, this is the colour I want for my Americans uniforms. I don't care if it's wrong. I don't. I'm going to be the only one that's playing with these figures. 
or me and uh, a friend of mine, and he won't mind. Knowing him, we'll probably want to play Germans anyway, but. And yeah, I'm just. I just want to run for it. Right. So, uniform. I'm not going to do the backpacks and things like that. They're going to be different coloured. The boots, I think, will be dark brown. Most likely. A little hard to see, really, sometimes when you're doing these. Yeah, this is like, um, like a brown green, which is how I envisage them I mean yeah like I say you could have the um, you could have British in these colours as well but I think if I get used to painting at this scale, then when I go back to 28mm, I'd be like, wow, look how much room for margin for error I've got here, you know. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll, I'll do the gaiters and that in uh, khaki. And any webbing I come across, like on the helmets and that. I, I don't mind how far down I go over the boots with it because I'll be painting it on after anyway. I've got to look at these and think, well, it's going to look good at a distance. It certainly is. That's another good thing about this scale. It, You know when you're painting 28mm, you think, well, I've got that three foot 
distance thing to think about but you kind of get closer because they're 28 mil you just like the look of them and whatever well with 15 mil you kind of got that like three foot is like the equivalent of six foot or 28 mil so because they're literally like half the scale of a heroic 28 millimeter model you know 28 millimeter heroic scale which is what Warhammer effectively is <laughs> yeah I'll get all the I'll block in all the base colors like I was going to then I'll put a shade wash on and then I'll do the highlight like one highlight literally is what I will do well, I phoned my work yesterday because um, I was waiting for a call from them but it wasn't forthcoming and they were like yeah we haven't had any further guidelines yet about coming back to work I was like you know they're dragging their heels a bit with it So I'm still not back at work at this point of recording this. I might be by the time you see this. We still got quite a bit of this in the pot. Trying to make sure I've not missed anywhere because I don't want to miss anywhere because that'll look weird if I do. It's looking like I've completed my first. So they're looking pretty brown on camera. They look greener in real life, trust me. Um, okay, so... The two. Two is the mortar. Guys. Yeah, you'd think though. So. You know, an employer would be like, yep, yep, we're bringing you back. I mean, I know when I should be going back, but they've said about changing my hours like a few times and days and that. So, uh, really, I don't know exactly. I mean, my wife's back at work, but working from home, and that's liable to change as well in the future. She's liable to go back to the office at some point. I know her boss says he prefers working in the office, although they make it work quite well between them. Seems to me that they do anyway.
Well, I'm pretty pleased with the way this is going on. You know, I'm quite, quite enjoying seeing how it's coming together here. It's quite good. Shirt. I'm just not worrying about that, not at this scale. So that's how I'm approaching it. You gotta think, all right, you're gonna be looking at it from a distance. What will your eye expect to see? You know? Oh, we had a Chinese takeaway the other night but as a family. It was a very unexpected treat, but it was lovely. You know, I haven't had one for such a long time. It was amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I said for ages that this is going to be like a rebuilding year for me financially, but um, the year's half over already. Which is awkward. So I'm going to have to really pull out all the overtime when I do get back to work. As much as I can get. Right, I'm leaving the mortar, so that was number two. That must be number three. Yeah, I think I said to you, didn't I, guys? I watched Chasing Mummies. That was brilliant. That was about Egypt, obviously. This professor that goes around digging up mummies and stuff. Oh, that was amazing stuff. Really good. See when these are all done, painted, washed, and based, I think they're gonna look incredible. I wonder how my old work colleagues are doing. If you're watching, how are you? I very much doubt you're watching this. But if you are, how are you? You know who you are. Drop a comment. Let me know. And that would be cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm thinking I might start watching some old war movies again, like I used to when I was a kid. Well, things like Kelly's Heroes and Battle of the Bulge and that kind of thing. I suspect that will be a solitary viewing experience, though. I can't imagine anyone else in my household wanting to watch it. But, um, yeah, there's going to be time when I've got time on my own and uh, put it down to research, really. Well, I put the movie Zulu down to research. Battle of Rocks Drift, eh? Just enough paint to do this last. Line. That's the other thing about. See, I'm finding all these things about painting or, or wargaming in 15 millimeter. Another plus is that you don't use as much paint. It's got to be good, right? Anything like straps, and I think I'll just paint black. I might paint it like a black grey. Seems I'm thinking of putting a black wash onto the, these models. I don't know. Either a black wash or a, the, the army paint a quick shade dark tone. Don't. No, for sure. Just enough paint. Yeah. I think these are going to look splendid once they're, once they're based. So what my intention is, is to paint these and seal them. Before I glue them to the base. Yeah. Looking good, sir. Looking good. Now. I have to look at another um, priming. Uh, the priming block. And that's going to be these guys. So. It's going to be number eight. You see, number eight. Yeah, so the war movies I'm particularly interested in seeing. Um, yeah, Kelly's Heroes, Battle of the Bulge. Those, I think both of those films are um, Telly Savalas. And I'm quite a fan of his. He's a good, good actor. Good actor from the day. Oh. 
I remember Kojak when I was a kid. Right, so this is number eight. Nearly there, guys. Oh, we've gone over the hour. Look at that. Well, let's zoom out. Well, I've gone over the hour, so I won't do any more. But I've got some paint on these guys here. Some flesh on another three sticks. Um, you know, all in all, I think they're, they're going to be absolutely splendid. You know, when they're washed and basted and highlighted. I think that'll be absolutely fine. So, essentially, I think 15 mil cuts out a whole different layer. Um, cuts out of there for, for your for your painting so uh, it should be quicker I'm hoping right well that's it I'm not going to zoom out to my face this is what you see and yeah so actually I'm going to put it down zoomed in a bit more yeah, so thanks very much, Ork Glasses Off, for watching. God, where did that hour go, eh? That was just so fast. Felt like I just not long started, but anyway. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you're working on. Pop it down in the comments section below, and I'll see you on another video. Till next time, guys. All brushes lead to war. See you on the next one. Bye.